So this is week two of my UGC journey and so far I just wanted to touch base with you on things that I've tried out, things that have worked, haven't worked, and what's in the works. Last week I took a lot of time to kind of develop my portfolio. I got my portfolio put together with a couple examples of things that I've done. I've cited some of the other places that I've worked with in my professional career as an actor and I listed that all together. So I wanted something professional to be able to show as I was doing pitches or I was kind of bringing traffic to my portfolio. So I put that together on Canva. I Basically I just started sending out pitches. I did a couple different avenues. I did sign up for Billo which I did was suggested it was fairly easy you just kind of do like a audition video or pitch video they give you some critiques and then as long as you do that in two takes then you're approved so I got that I sent out about 30 different pitches and I did get my first pitch back which I'm super excited for and it's actually something that I've used in my past and I really enjoyed the product so I'm definitely gonna have a genuine connection to that Another thing I wanted to do as well is reach out to the contacts I already had through my day job. So I curated a very short list of about three different contacts who I have a fairly regular conversation with, the vendors, and I just kind of curated a little email saying like what company I was from and that I was working on UGC and I just simply asked if their company had a budget for UGC. And I did not hear back from one of the companies. The second company got back to me very quickly and told me unfortunately they didn't, which, you know, your first couple rejections, it's fine. And the third one, I actually did a video chat. We had to kind of have a conversation about something for my full-time job. And I just simply mentioned like, hey, like you guys are a great brand. I would love to work with you. And they actually already used one of my pieces that I made for my own store and they put it on their website and their social media. So technically I already feel like I'm working with them, which is really exciting, but I'm just kind of looking for more of like a long-term relationship to see if maybe we can have more of a creative back and forth. So that's in the works. I'm really excited to hear either way. They're a great brand and hopefully it is something I can do long term with them or else just kind of integrate it into you know my portfolio. The other two avenues I actually dove into, I was listening to a podcast, which I will link below, and she really talked about actually looking into LinkedIn, and that's not something I would have thought about. So I did heavily go on LinkedIn. I did some networking. I did some following, but then I also just looked for social media jobs and UGC jobs. And I have to say, I did not find a ton of jobs that were strictly UGC. I saw more of like a full-time kind of position of like a content creator, things like that. They're also, seem to be more jobs that were looking for influencers. So I can't say that I really struck gold there, but I definitely got the conversation going. I feel more comfortable using LinkedIn for more of a creative, less, you know, day daytime kind of job thing. So that actually was really beneficial. I have some things in the works with them as well. I have a couple messages out and I'm excited to just keep exploring that because I feel like that's an interesting spot. The third thing I did, or whatever number of thing I did, is I did sign up for a Twitter. I saw a lot of people saying that Twitter is where a lot of UGC content happens or where jobs are found. I have been out of the Twitter game for quite some time now, so it's going to take me some time to get my bearings. And also one of the things that a lot of people on the podcast talk about is you don't want to get burnt out, right? So right now I have YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, working on the LinkedIn kind of things, and I just feel like a lot's going on. So I am giving myself that grace to kind of go through Twitter, get used to it, but I'm not necessarily posting on Twitter yet. Right now I'm using Twitter as more of a search engine kind of thing to see if there are jobs. I haven't figured that out yet. I'm still trying to navigate it. So I will circle back there. But yeah, week two was a lot of hitting the ground running, applying for different jobs, still doing the research. I'm still listening to podcasts and YouTubes daily on my commute to get all the information I can. I'm also doing a lot of interaction, so trying to build up those separate accounts. Like I said, I had started a separate account from my personal account, and I'm trying to build that up. I'm filming more content. I'm trying to do more things. I'm trying to make it all happen. 
that's this week's update. I'm really excited with the growth that I've already achieved. And for next week, I'm gonna try to focus on just doing the same kind of things. I think I'm gonna try to do more content. I feel like I kind of did more pitching this week, but I wanna build up my portfolio a little bit more, my social media a little bit more. So I'm just gonna take this time this week to, to try to lean into that more, um, but definitely still doing more pitches. And yeah, so we'll check back in next week. I'm gonna try to make this a weekly update every And this is why I kind of wanted to start this series. I didn't feel like for myself, I could find anybody in the very beginning stages, right? I feel like everybody that I kind of is fed to me through the algorithm is somebody who's already very successful or at least midway successful. And I was really interested in just seeing like from the very beginning what people did and how it worked out and the trials and the tribulations that they went through. So hopefully this is informational for you. Hopefully this helps you whether you're doing anything on social media because I will obviously be doing user generated content but of course it's also going to be exploring the algorithm and trends and all of that fun stuff so i hope you follow along if this is helpful